So first up here for for all four of you, you are playing crime fighting turtles here, but I know there was a heavy emphasis on them feeling like real teenagers in this movie. So can you each tell me something your character does or says in the movie that made you think like, you know what? I would actually in real life say or do that too. Um, we mentioned the like the New York, the New York, the New York stereotype of like yes. the bacon, egg and cheese. Stuff. Yeah, like Tim's like, that's something we genuinely were joking about before recording. And then they're like, you know what? Say that in the, say that on the, like the, on the, on the recording. So yeah, we just added that in there. Can confirm you nailed bacon, egg and cheese. Thank <laughs> you. I'm glad you like this. Bacon, egg and cheese. We, we have, have the approval. Yes, yes. you did. Sure. Uh, Leo in the movie says like, oh, so it's a date. Completely like misunderstanding <laughs> what April is saying. And that's. Uh, that's like me. That is me a lot. Literally me. Yeah. Yeah. I think just adding all the modern day energy, you know, being as youthful again, we are teens. So it's like adding a youthful energy, like being excited about, you know, improv and all those kind of things and like playing on their phones in the middle of the night before going to sleep, uh, things like that. I'm going to get back to that improv. I love how you recorded this movie. <laughs> yeah, For me, I mean, a lot of us use a lot of language that we use in our day-to-day lives. I mean, we, we, we put ourselves into these characters and really made them our, our own version. So, I mean, for, for Raph, particularly, uh, if I could think of anything, he's always like, all right, bro. All right, bro. Like, I'm kind of, I kind of say that a lot. I'm like, all right, bro. All right. Like, I'm kind of, <laughs> same answer. With less of the gravel. But less it's of the still gravel, the but yeah. yeah it's... The improv in this is... Except, like, I don't know how you record an animated movie any other way after having this experience. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's we, something else. We set the bar. I think we set the yeah. bar. Yeah, we set the bar high. You, the best part is, like, you feel the difference it makes in the movie. Like, yeah. your energy together, it, like, leaps off screen and really does make all the difference with the character chemistry. Yes, yeah, it was thanks. incredible. And it's so important for, like, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because they are brothers and exactly. you really need to have that translate to the mm-hmm. movie. So the, chemistry, yeah. the fact yeah. that Seth and, and Jeff were able to, you know, make it happen where so, we can record in the same place, it was... It, it made a great product. I'm going to dig into specifics with that in a minute. But first, for all four of you, if you got the opportunity to swap roles and each get the turtle that you relate to most, who would you each be playing and why? Do we point? No, it would be better to describe this. What am I thinking? I was um, wondering if it would be better for you to name the turtle you related to most yourself or to have the other three name it for you. <laughs> yeah. um, Ooh, I like the I like the name. I like the, the other ladder. three name it for you. Okay, okay. all, all right, right. Let's so do that. Let's we'll start here. Let's Which start one here. would I be? I think Leo. Still, I'm supposed to I switch. Think, I think you could pass her a Mikey if anything else. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're I very chill. Pass her yeah, Mikey. Thanks for right. fun loving. Yeah. I'm a fun loving guy. All, All right, right. Shaman. Who would you be then? Shaman's got Raph. In yeah, let's he's let's got do Raph. 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 I would actually like to see you play Shaman's Raph. Raph. It's so Raph. different from your Mikey. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, Brady, Brady, you should Brady. be. You should be Leo. Let's see what Leo, Leo looks like. Leo. Leo. And then that leaves. Yeah, what is that? Oh, Donnie, wait, 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 did we not? I feel like he could be a cool Mikey. He could be a cool Mikey. No, definitely Mikey. I think he could be a Mikey. Mikey Mikey. Mikey. for Mikey. Okay. I I love how you were all cast in this film, but I would happily watch like an alt version of the film where you all swap roles. That would be fun to do. I think we could do it. Like, just as good. The next movie, Turtles, Swap Brains. There's some sort of like multiverse version that would be very in right now and make all the sense in the world. Yeah, that would be so sick. So you go into this movie, I'm sure you are prepared for it to a but when you're playing characters like this, there's always opportunity to discover things along the way. So what is a quality about your turtle that you discovered during the recording process that, you know, wound up being creatively fulfilling for you to play? A bit of a geek. I'm a bit of a nerd. Like, there's certain things I obsess over. And like, I did my research. I wanted to, I wanted to immerse myself in the character. And, and so I, I listened to some K-pop. I listened, I watched some anime. I really like became like one of those dweebs. Like I, like, like I, <laughs> I became, I became like I became a, like a very much a nerd in the in the anime and K-pop world. That's fine. Yeah. yeah, I come from like a little high school like school theater background, so just that like seeing that Mikey, I was just like so ironic. Um, and just like certain things that he loves, like waffle pizza, like out of all things, <laughs> I'm like I think New York it's somewhere you can actually get a waffle pizza. So I'm definitely going to try that when I pop out there. Waffle pizza doesn't sound half bad to me. Yeah. yeah. I would try that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I think for me, I, I think Raphael, something that 
like I learned from him was that that he does have a heart in him, believe it or not. I, I mean, a lot of people just stereotype him as just this hothead that just is like always angry, like rah, 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 always yelling. But like when I was taking the approach, when I when I knew that I was initially getting into this role, I, I really wanted to add some some heart and, and some comedy into him and have people relate to him and understand him a little bit better. I think for me, it was more so in the process of recording, like finding the journey to leadership rather than just being there already. I think in the first few sessions I came on, I think very like on top of things is Leo. And I think Jeff had the great direction of like, well, let him figure things out a bit. You know, he's the youngest Ninja Turtles like we've seen on screen, right? Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. Like we're yeah. all real teenagers. So seeing him figure that out, in, instead of just having it like just in his heart. I think it was a great journey for him to go on. Oh, I dig so. that art quite a bit. It plays quite you well. You actually just pointed out, I think Mike is the youngest turtle ever. Yeah. yeah. Like, look at that. I'm only 15, but when I was recording, I was like, as it should be. I love all iterations of Ninja Turtles, but the vibe in this yeah. felt so right and true to me. So going back to the improv now, can you each give me an example of a time during your recording sessions when a scene partner surprised you and it wound up bringing something out of your own performance that you didn't expect? Well, I think always recording with these guys, you never know what you're going to get. Yeah. And I think that was one of the things that Jeff and Seth were like looking for and they definitely got it because that was one of the things like coming into the movie like and seeing it in screen is so amazing but before i was kind of like how is all of this good because we're always we're on top of each other like you know with lines and everything so i'm just kind of like how is this gonna come out so it's just like i think one thing that surprised me was just like i think these two like their banter is <laughs> yeah. so crazy because they always had them like looking at each other like in the booth so it's kind of like <laughs> like the the nerd with the like the brains and the bronze going at each other i think that was one of the things that surprised me how well it came out yeah i i i think for me just just being around these three guys and just the level that they record at is just so so high and it's like yeah. they, they are just on like even with all the improv like it, it was hard for me to like keep up sometimes and I, I really had to like stay attentive if I really wanted to stay in it like really because once we get into the character and once we're like improv and going in you can't you can't like snap out of it or you'll fall out of the scene so like yeah. for them to always always be able to just snap at a finger go into that like like you just really got to keep that hyper focus and and I really learned a lot and and I feel like I definitely grew as 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 a voice actor just working with these three amazing actors I think an example I can reference um is like when we were, I'm, I'm sorry for bringing this back, but like the New York scene. Cause I remember <laughs> I initially, I'm all here for the New York I like it. <laughs> initially it was just, I was supposed to say the line, I'm a cabbie from the Bronx. I love these turtles. That was it. But I remember I was like, that's kind of like, that's kind of boring. Like it's a good line. <laughs> but I was like, a cabbie. I was like, I'm a cabbie. I got, I got a puffer. Uh, like, I, and then they're like, Jeff was like, I like that. Like, and then, and then when we started talking about it, we were like, and then Nix was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me get a bacon, like a cheese. And then they all like, hey, hey you're, you're. Yeah. And so it really adds a good, like a good little, a little inside joke that we had, which is actually in the movie and which is really cool. Yeah. I love how that scene just exploded because it yeah. really did start out with one small line and then it turned into It was that. just a, like it was it wasn't even supposed to be like really anything. It was just like one small little line. Yeah, right? but what I was going to say, go too, yeah, and yeah, I like yeah. it. What I was going to say to answer your question about like something that surprised me in the booth, like Leo and Raph butt heads. Like that's just in their nature. And dude, you would get some like digs at me like in the improv. I don't yeah, remember yeah. like specific, yeah. but I'll be like, damn, dude, get off my back. And like I think it would come personal. out in the performance. <laughs> yeah. I'll end with uh, one semi silly personal question because I like talking about pizza, but also food in general. So for like real you. What is your version of the turtle's pizza where you can eat that one thing like all day, every day and eat it in any variation you can come up with? Ooh, that's a good question. Mine is peanut butter sandwiches. Peanut butter Ooh. sandwiches. Ooh. Any type of peanut butter, uh, you have fluffernutters, there's I'd so many options. I'd say like, like Alfredo, like mm -hmm. Alfredo, yeah, like pasta. I have this horrible habit of like Uber eating all the time. I don't know if you can like, um, what is it? Like verbize that Oh, word? you can make that a verb. Yeah, okay, I'm, working, I'm making that a verb. But I have a horrible habit. I've just been ordering wings all the time recently. Ooh. So it's like, yeah, I, I, I go this one place and I'm trying out all their flavors. It's like, I need to stop. It's it's hurting oh, no, my wallet. Don't stop I, need, I need to stop. It's a problem. It's a problem. Yeah, mine would definitely be, I'm very into spice, but I always get like spicy chicken sandwiches. Like mm. shout out to Jay's Hot Chicken. Like I, I'd be like- mm. You trying to get sponsored? I'm <laughs> trying to chicken <laughs> play. Hey, hey if, you can, if you can hit me up, like I'd be down, like let me know. Anyways, uh, I would definitely make that a sand, I would make like a pizza like sandwich. Like that'd be so sick. Like just like, cause I think I'm thinking like, you gotta go more than just a chicken sandwich. I, I would want to like maybe add a little 
like combine a pizza because pizza is a great food. I I see where the turtles are coming from, and then you add a chicken sandwich. Like, no, I'm thinking like a Big Mac, but with like pizza in it. Like, okay, mm. yeah. you would eat that every day. <laughs> every oh, day. Every okay, day. you gotta eat this I every day. day. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, I can eat. I can eat a, a chicken sandwich though, every Give day. Some. Like okay. a Chick Fil A chicken sandwich, so good. Yeah. I can't believe no one said tacos. Tacos really? are good. There's so much variation. Yeah, they're right here. Yeah, 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 breakfast so, tacos. So like yeah, yeah, tacos. yeah, you can change yeah. it. That's, that's like big and out of the box. I must leave you. I will say Aww. congratulations. Thanks. Thank you so much. I love this movie thank so, much. so much. I love Turtles great talking my to entire you. life. The fact that we have a new movie that just makes me so happy and yeah. like feel like I first discovered Turtles again is really That's great. awesome. Thank you so much. I mean it.